Dobar dan i dobrodošli. Sit down and relax as we are about to read some webtoons and manga. I recommend purchasing the official scans or translations and reading along with those open as well, for a better reading experience and to support the creators behind the works that I react to in my streams. Links are in the description. You can find me on YouTube, Twitch and Patreon, so subscribe to or follow some European chick if you want to read along and suggest what to read next. Now without further ado, let's read. Look back. Yes, I will be reading the one shot. I know I'm an hour late. And I know I look silly. But this is what it is today. It's Easter, so I'm the Easter Bunny. Welcome, happy Easter, if you celebrate. Um, <clears throat> but yes, we're now gonna get into look back. Also, um, when I'm finished with the one shots, uh, we'll be watching um, the interviews with uh, Fujimoto. And after that, we're gonna be uh, reading Fire Punch, but also, once we're done with the interviews, I can make my reviews of the things we've read so far. So Chainsaw Man, the one-shots, and yes, I will be uploading just general manga um, reviews or analysis on my channel too, just as videos. Um, so maybe look forward to that too, if you're into that. Giving my two cents on what I'm reading. Uh, hello, I'm new here. Is this where reading along with Fujimoto <laughs> Hello, hello, Kasa Pyung. But yeah, um, welcome everyone. If anyone spoils anything, I'll delete not only their comment, but also their existence. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, I have to say, this is, while, um, when the one shot was released, uh, in Japan, it was simultaneously uploaded on the um what what's the app it called again shueisha no jump Man manga plus manga plus app um before it was again removed after some time so they can work on the volume and um you know release the volume digitally and a uh, paperback uh that's why it was removed again, so they can also tidy everything up and tell you that um, this is the version that was uploaded uh, on the app and uh, that was on there for a limited amount of time before it was pulled out from the app again. So um, we have to wait until I think September for the digital release of this one shot. And I don't want to wait that long, so I'm just taking the one shot as it was published in the Manga Plus app a few months ago. So, just a disclaimer. I like what we're looking at. But yeah, this is why we don't have a cover that we're looking at, why we don't have um, anything else. It's just the pure, just a chapter and nothing else. The chapter, the one shot. Um, I'm excited to own it physically. Same here. Uh, I mean, if I like it, I'm gonna buy it to put it on my shelf. <clears throat> Look back. I like I like the art style. To be honest, I just I, I just love the art style. This is a typical Japanese room, yeah. Okay, we're in the countryside somewhere. We're in some suburbs. All right, folks, it's time to pass out this week's school newspaper. Don't forget to show it to your parents. They have a school newspaper. Nice. We didn't have that. <laughs> Another dust collector for your shelf, huh? Shut up. Hey, hey, hey. Cute. Ha 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 ha. This art is so good. But you know, your four panel manga strips were really funny again. Cute. Is this supposed to be like 
A standing for Fujimoto? Maybe not. Okay, let's see. Fourth grade news. That's cute. Kiss me again when we're reborn. I promise. Both about to die after an accident and a kiss. 20 years later. I was reincarnated. Where are you, my love? Earth. Meteor. <laughs> okay, it is funny. It is funny. <laughs> cute. Cute, cute, cute. <clears throat> Oh, those? Actually, I was kind of busy this week, so I drew them in five minutes. Cute. I love this. They turn out pretty good for not even trying, if I say so myself. Cute, child. <laughs> Cute. Wow. You could be a manga artist when you grow up. A manga artist? I don't know. Sitting at a desk drawing all day sounds boring. You're good at sports, too. You should be an athlete. Oh, I'd rather do that. Either way, give me your autograph. <laughs> Cute. Okay, what? Okay, fine. Would you know? Me? What is it, sir? Come with me to the faculty room. Fuck. That kind of... Those four panel strip is an actual Fujimoto strip he published in his school newspaper. Could be, could be. We don't know. Would be nice. <clears throat> I like what we have so far. This is an elementary school. Fourth grade, which means they're like 10 years old, these kids. Um, they're having their own creative projects and are supported by their teachers, which is really nice. I wish we had had such an initiative too. The school paper among us says, Do you mind turning hall. one yeah. over to Kyomoto? Kyomoto? Who's that? A truant in the class next door. The kid can't come to school, but wants to try drawing manga. Hmm, why can't he come to school? Hmm, I mean, I guess I don't mind. For her. One thing. Um that I have to mention is, I, I, sorry for the TTS, I didn't notice because I don't have my headphones in. <clears throat> Are you excited for Chainsaw Man's anime? I am. Chainsaw Man is my love forever. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, what did I want to say? Uh, yeah, one thing that I appreciate about Fujimoto is that he makes his main characters female too. Like, I'm, I'm sure this has some biographical elements in it. Because I heard it's about drawing manga. And Fujimoto, if I remember correctly, uh, has been drawing manga since elementary school, too. So, I'm sure this, this has some autobiographical elements in it. Um, and it's nice that he's associating it with a female character. Uh, which... It shouldn't be a problem for anyone, actually, because, you know, there's not much of a difference between men and women. <laughs> you know, when it comes to what we experience, like what kind of emotions we experience in life and, you know, dreams and aspirations and so on. So, um, you can make characters that are like you, but with a different gender. Why not? Um, so, I appreciate that. We have strong female characters in Chainsaw Man and in um, Fire Punch. And, um, and he has now a female main character. I like that. I, I also, okay, this is spoiler maybe, spoiler territory for Fire Punch, but um, I also love about Fujimoto that he's aware of social and political things going on like um uh let's say lgbt issues and uh he incorporates these um experiences and and people in his works too we have quan Shi as a lesbian in chainsaw man for example um i i like that he's aware of social topics and incorporating them into his manga and has various kinds of representation in his manga. That's what I appreciate about him. 
I'm glad I didn't miss much. Yes. <laughs> and I'm so happy that Mappa is animating Chainsaw Man. Yeah, because any other studio can't animate Chainsaw Man. Okay, that's not true. That's not true. You have Studio Bones is great. Um, studio Kara. I mean, it's prime. Um, you have um, Madhouse is great. You have um, Kyoto Animations, great. Uh, you have a lot of good studios, actually. But, um, but yeah, Mappa is, is a great choice, too. Kind of a miracle that Shueisha lets him do that. Yeah. And hello, Kendayo. I rarely see anime from Madhouse lately. Yeah, right? Madhouse needs to make another um, one out sequel anime, okay? We need a part two of one out. Can, can we please do that? <laughs> um, Studio Bones was my top pick for a chainsaw man. Also, not, not just Studio Bones. Um, uh, what was it called again? Studio that made Haik Haikyuu. Forgot. Quick note for everyone, MAPPA is not the only studio in Japan. True. Yes. They had an anime last year called Sunny Boy. Okay. And also, there is a few other studios I, I forgot their names of. Wit is also great. Um... Production IG, right, that one. Production IG, thank you. Uh, they're also great. Like, there's um, a lot of good um, studios out there in Japan. And um, it would be great if, if some, um, you know, underdog studio maybe took over too. I mean, what I do appreciate about this project with um, Chainsaw Man's anime is that they took freelance animators off of Twitter for example, and told them, hey, you're good, you're talented, you're passionate about this, work with us. And that is great. It's true, because Chainsaw Man is a horror, plus dark fantasy anime, and Mappa has animated Jujutsu Kaisen so perfectly, and Chainsaw Man is getting the same animation like Jujutsu Kaisen. UFO Table is also good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Agreed. But they are focused on Demon Slayer. Good for them, though. Yufa Table is fantastic. Honestly, um, Demon Slayer, for me, tops Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, with ease. Not just animation-wise, but... You know, content-wise, too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the anime of um, Demon Slayer is so much better than... What I can imagine Jujutsu Kaisen can give. You know, stylistically, I've seen fights on you, uh, fight scenes on YouTube, and I think they're the only ones that can elevate what's happening in the manga, like in the anime format, because what the manga is giving me is just boring for now. So yeah, oh yeah, Studio Trigger, yeah, I could pull chase. Yes, yes, as I, yeah, there's so many good studios out there. I I just forget their names and and to list them all. Yes, agreed. Didn't the ones who worked on Idol Master work on Berserk? No. <laughs> Hopefully, they're paying them well. I mean, I, I, I doubt so, but yeah. And that's why I'm saying Mappa is best. I, I wouldn't say Mappa is best, I would say Mappa is one of the best out there. So yeah, I, I'm not I'm waiting for the Chainsaw Man voice acting. Yeah. Uh, uh, bro, Twitter is, um, has so many of them, and they post about it. Feels so good to see them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, Mappa is one of the best production studios out there, and, um, uh, it's good that they took over Chainsaw Man. But I would have been happy with any other of, of the good studios, too. As long as they also take, you know, these freelance animators off of Twitter. You know, see people who are passionate and who are talented, recognize that and give them work. Let them work on the project that they're passionate about. Only that way can we really expect a quality product, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to the results of these people. 
yeah, a lot of people involved in this, and I can't wait to see the fruits of their labor. Studios are tough to judge sometimes because their uh, adaptations can vary in a lot. Like Mob Psycho and uh, My Hero Academia, even Haikyuu looks much better than Kuroko no Basuke, despite being the same studio. Just want some high budget hentai studios to collab for quenchy scenes. <laughs> Let, let's get back to the one shot now. Some of the leaks are saying that Bakugo's voice actor is going to give voice to Denji. I heard that too. Uh, by that, I mean Mob looks way better than My Hero Academia. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah, I guess it also depends on uh, which people are involved, like which team is involved in, uh, uh, and how much budget they get. Like how much of the budget they they get for the project. That depends too. Uh, anyway, I love my Makima. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Let's go back to the one shot. Kyomoto, who's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. A truant in uh, the class next door. Why is he not going to school? The kid can't come to school, but wants to try drawing manga. Hmm, I mean, I guess I don't mind. Uh, it's hard for amateurs to draw decent art, though. I have to wonder, can a scaredy cat who can't even come to school really handle drawing manga? Kids. Kids are... Kids being kids. You can't really get mad at comments like these. Here's a school paper. Don't forget to show your parents. Let's see. After school. Fujino, Pekyomoto. Oh my god, what the fuck? Damn. Is she gonna have an existential crisis now? Hey, no running in the halls. That's it. Or it's day. Cute. Then say, we'll hold all students to the school rules, right? What? She laid down hall flooring in the other lanes? Wait, what? Oh, what? This is amazing, though. I can't believe a great schooler drew this. What the fuck? I can't even draw that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> the shock. Oh no. Whoa. This is pro level art. Look, did you see this? Oh no. Sh now she's gonna compare herself to him. Her, him, Kyomoto, who knows. Them. And she's gonna compare herself to them. Oh no. Look, did you see this? Remind me, who's Kyomoto? The truant kid, right? But you know, Fujino's art looks totally average next to Kyomoto's. Oh no! Oh no! Poor her! No, that's so mean! <sighs> she flew high and fell really low now, huh? <sighs> Got a reality check. Got disappointed now, hmm. Wow, how are you so good at drawing, Fujino? You have the best art of all the students I've seen. Why, you could become an artist. Is she losing her self-worth right now? I hope not. Poor child. Fujino's art looks totally average next to Kyomoto's. No, poor girl. No, you can get better. You can be friends with Kyomoto and learn. You can motivate each other, bring out the best in each other. You can be just like them. I mean, they don't go to school. You're. They're putting their entire being into this. You you do so many other things too. Can I send my chainsaw man edit to you on Instagram if you don't have any problem? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh... Oh, I get it. Kyomoto. 
practices drawing while I'm at school. Yeah, this is what I mean. Oh, uh, look at her cute. <laughs> A fourth grader who's better at art than me? No way, I'll never allow it. <sighs> How to get better at art? Oh, <sighs> She's admirable. Welcome, books bookstore. Thank you for your business. Let's do this. Shortcuts to improving your art. Study perspective, learn anatomy, be conscious of space. Number one tip is just draw, stupid. Uh... So even in school, she's drawing? At home, she's drawing? She needs a better chair. In school, drawing again. Oh no. Oh, look at this. Not even studying anymore, just drawing. Anatomy, a complete guide for artists. Fundamentals of figure drawing. <sighs> even in her free time, at home, at night. Sketching. Oh. This is good. I mean, she started early. That is so good. I mean, I want to start now at age 26. So. It's, it's. It's good she started so early, you know, because it really is about practice. It's, it's practice, practice, practice. You need to study the art of drawing, which is why I honestly. As soon as I saw Fujimoto's art style, I knew the man was good at art. Everyone's saying, oh, it looks so so childish or whatever, or so minimalistic. But but don't you have an eye... F like, can't you see how good his art is, actually? Like, how much thought and precision is behind it? Like, everything... It, it's stylized, yeah. He, he has a specific style. But you can see that every fold on every piece of clothing is in place. Perspective camera angle or what do you call it um then scene composition everything is just in place the dynamics the movements the anatomy everything everything like there's so many things you need to uh, consider when doing art hold on i think i wrote down a few things hold on Yeah, the visual storytelling aspects. Then you also have to study from the masters that you look up to. Um, and when you copy what you like, you're going to get good at it too. Um, as I said, the, the architecture too. And uh, even interior design, as you can see. Like everything has its place. Everything is just as it's supposed to be. The line art, the techniques he's using... Like, um, for example, when he shades things, like here, um, or the things in the background, do you see? It's supposed to be a tree or another bush. Like, um, it's, it's, uh, in some places he uses thicker lines, in some places thinner lines. Uh, everything has system and thought behind it. So when you see Fujimoto, like, I, I saw it immediately in, in Fire Punch. You, you can see that he's an artist. Like, a really good artist. Like, it, it's one thing if you don't vibe with the minimalistic art style of, of, of the faces. It's just about the faces, because everything else is glorious. Like, it's obviously... like I mean, the faces to me are glorious, too. But if you don't like the, um, the stylized, um, typical manga-esque um, versions of the faces, uh, then that's just your personal taste. But you have to admit that there is so much talent behind it. Behind everything here that you see. Look. Everything. Is so good. The way he plays with the black and white, too. All of it. 
I as I say, every single the, the lighting, shading, um, then um, as I said, dynamic movement, like everything, the poses, the facial expressions too. Uh, so much that goes into drawing manga, and he has perfect command over it all. And there's so much detail in his art. Like, yeah, the faces, as people say, they, they're so minimalistic, but everything else is so detailed. Look at the floor, okay? Look at the, the chairs. Look at all the other kids that have individual, distinct faces and their clothes and wrinkles. The backgrounds, the buildings, everything. I think Fujimoto would do great as a cinematographer. Yeah. Yes. He also started publishing really early. His first published one-shot was at age 17. Damn. And he hasn't stopped since. Yeah. He's also probably consuming a lot of other media um, in order to make... Um, you know, th there's a difference between producing just movies, for example, or TV series, and making high-end productions. Like, I don't know, art house um, productions that can get you a Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival. So, uh, there's different types of movies that you can make, and I think his uh, stories and his storytelling is more the, like the, um, towards the Palme d'Or Cannes Film Festival type of art. And not, you know, the typical, um, I don't know, TV broadcast show of the week. It's, it's very different. Like, the feeling, the thoughts, the emotions, and the knowledge. Like, his interest, as I said, also in social and political topics. Everything just reflects. He has such an artistic mind. He has such a uh, mind for... Uh, Mind for um, the genre. I don't know how to say it in another way. He's <coughs> a born creator. Like whether he was um, a director of a movie or an artist um, for a mangaka, he can just create good stories and depict them well visually. He's just really good at that. There's, as I said, you, you can see the talent just seeping through every panel. Uh, it was because of his art style. Like, that jumped out to me when I saw Chainsaw Man and, and Fire Punch. That jumped out. Aka Kitsugami, uh, remember when you told me uh, the art isn't special, but I recommend Chainsaw Man for the story? And I told you, are you kidding me? I would read it for the art. Remember when I said that? Because uh, I do. Like, as soon as I saw the art, I was, like, blown away. I was like, this is, my, this is my style. This is my taste. This is an artist that I'm looking at. Not just a manga artist, but an artist. Like, through and through, just create a spirit inside this man. That just, as I said, shows in every panel, in everything he's drawing. It just shows through. He can't hide that. He graduated in Western painting from Tohoku University of Art and Design in Yamagata, uh, Yamagata in 2014. See? Yeah, I remember clearly. See? Yeah, okay. Fujimoto is a genius in storytelling and his art style too is so amazing. I completely agree. So, um... There's lots of passion, practice, and uh, and love behind what he's doing, I feel like. Um, lots of knowledge about the medium itself, because you can be a mangaka, but still not understand how to fully use the, the entire potential of the medium. Like, you're just drawing because you want to draw that, or want to get rid of a story or uh, idea uh, born from your mind and, and put it on paper. But he's a master of visual storytelling. He's using the medium of manga to its full potential. And you see that rarely in, um, in this medium, in this genre. 
So yeah, I think he's just a born creator for this, like a born visual storyteller. And he has good stories to tell. It's not just about, okay, gi give him a topic and he's going to show you a good story. He's also going to tell you a good story. Like the content behind it, the thoughts, the emotions, everything behind it. It, it, it has um like it, it has a basis it's it's um solid it's there it's just yeah as i said he he's a born storyteller am i get, turning red here okay, maybe now i'm turning red because i pressed the spot yeah but if you compare him to yusuke murata and kim chung yi for example Look, if he wanted to, he could draw like that too. Like it, there's one, like there's a difference between drawing realistically or like in a very stylish shonen way. Uh, I'm I'm not saying Murata are, is not great. I'm just saying you shouldn't compare these two because, uh, Murata. I I know him from One Punch Man. Okay, I only know him from that. Because I think One Punch Man works so much better as a manga. It's so cool to read as a manga because he's also a good um, artist. But he's adapting something. Like, I don't know how he's a visual storyteller. And One Punch Man, to be honest, it doesn't have that much of a of complexity and um, subtlety. It's not... You can't compare it, as I said. There can be stylish and good uh, movies and films out there. For example, let's let's take Marvel movies. They're they're nice to see on the big screen, but compare that to, as I said, artistic movies. It, there's a difference. I don't know which example I can take. Uh, let's take um, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, and compare that to a Marvel movie. Sure, the talent and and um, and bombastic and visual, uh, just yeah, bombarding on your senses in the Marvel Marvel movies is something that is absolutely beautiful to look at. Like how the people are, I don't know, choreographing the fights, how are they are flying through the skies and so on. And that's Murata, I'd say. And uh, Fujimoto is sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. There you go. As I said, there is a difference between making something look good on paper and um, being a good visual storyteller. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, is also really an amazing artist. Yeah, I don't know Kim Chung Yi, but um, his panels have a lot of stories, in my opinion. In film class, they say that every frame has to be beautiful and should tell a story of its own. And Fujimoto does exactly that through his manga. Yeah, uh, it's like that movie, um, Das Weiße Band, The White Ribbon. It's uh, by Michael Haneke. Every shot that you take from that movie, like take a screenshot, it looks like a painting in and of itself. I could tell you a story. This redness is um, annoying. I'm going to have to put concealer on it. I'm gonna be back in like a minute or so. I, it's annoying me. I don't know why this turned red. Why are we comparing origins to Apple? Uh, good storytelling is definitely very important than just good visuals. Ex yes, yes. The fact that Fujimoto can tell good stories and uh, amazing at visuals is just perfect. Yes, exactly. I, I think he's a rare talent in the industry because he has the full package. He's not just um, good at drawing. Okay, not just good at drawing, he can use the potential of the medium, he's a good visual storyteller, and there's substance behind everything that he makes. Every panel tells a story. Don't worry, it's not visible on screen, is it not? I, but it's annoying me. Um, I'll be back in, like, half a minute. Half a minute, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna continue reading. And we're going to continue reading, not just talking about and comparing artists to other artists. As I said, Murata, I, I don't know Kim Chung-yi, but um, I, I I know Murata and uh, I agree that he's a great artist like when it comes to being a talented 
drawing artist. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Fujimoto is a, a thing of um, its own. Okay, be back in half a minute. we go much better i think all right Papa. never noticed that aloe vera in the background well i mean because i'm covering it usually with my own body uh and now let's go back to um look back it's um It's a little boring that she's um, just preoccupying herself so much with this um, inferiority complex and working so hard at it. She's she's not doing anything else anymore. She's stressing herself out, even though there is no need to stress herself out. Oh man. Look at this. Like the details even in um in this. You can see how the times are changing. For example, here uh there's what is that? A vacuum cleaner. Then um the trash bin is here on this side. Then it's uh on, on this side. Then um there's a new lamp, I mean, she put the lamp there, up there, on this shelf. There's more books here now. Um, the clock is here now. Like, uh, there's little things changing all the time. It's not just reusing the same panels, it's changing all the time. Um, accumulating more, um, what are these called again, the... For sketches that you use, um... A sketch block I don't know but yeah uh, it's not just reusing the same uh, panels over and over it's it's really doing something new with every panel even the time of the day is different look here it's the middle of the day here the Sun is probably setting look at the shadows uh, you don't see it but here it's April here it's July um, notepads yeah maybe uh, so, and the way she's sitting too, I love it. My friend's art teacher is a close friend of Kim Jong-gi. Uh, I'm so jealous. Oh, that is so cool. Um, January, so an entire year passed. Look at the snow. No way, I wanted to study Korean just to talk to Kim Chung ki He's amazing, absolutely above Murata and most other professional. I didn't have to look him up now. Come on. Kim Chung ki Come on. Oh, I, I've seen, yeah, okay, I've seen his art, never uh, associated that name with this art. Yeah, as I said, the art is amazing, but there's a difference between being a good artist, a good talented, good draw, uh, a drawing person, drawer, <laughs> uh, artist, as I said, um, and and um, someone like Fujimoto, who's just an artist and creator of stories, a creator of stories, a creator of art through and through, and using um, the medium of manga to its full potential. <clears throat> ah, the kids are so cute. Fujino. Hmm? 
What's your drawing? The human skeleton. We're sixth graders now, you know, so two years passed. Almost two years, yeah. I do rate Takehiko Inoue higher as both an artist and storyteller. I don't. I don't. I personally don't. Because, you know, drawing with realism... The thing is about Inoue is he, he has realistic art, right? But it's also stylized. But also, uh, each face he draws, you can immediately recognize it. It's unique, like the facial expressions. And he still manages to make them look like the faces look ethnic. Uh, while also being stylist, but still, he's working within a realis a realism. Whereas, uh, Fujimoto is, um, really stylizing his art to fit the, the medium of, um, uh, manga. You know, um, it, it's still very different from other manga styles, but, um, or typical manga styles with the huge eyes, triangle, um, face shapes and, and tiny nose, tiny mouth. Um, He's he's very stylized, Fujimoto, but if he wanted to, he could draw realistic art too. It's not about which art style is better. You, you can't judge him just based on this, like, uh, on the styles that they're using in their manga. Like, he studied Western painting. Maybe look at his Western paintings and compare them to... Um, Inoue's paintings, although Inoue has more like Eastern style paintings. Maybe then you can compare. But um, you can't compare art styles. You can't do that. And as for visual storytelling, I, I don't know, I got more out of Chainsaw Man and, and Fire Punch than um, Slam Dunk and Vagabond. It's Vagabond is more like uh, watching paintings, but also with some speech bubbles in between. Uh, but they're not really connected. Like they, they don't need to be connected. It's more like watching someone just draw for the sake of art and forcing it into the medium of manga. Whereas um, Fujimoto is is absolutely just making like. Pulling out everything the medium manga has to offer and infusing it with his art. That's what I'm feeling when I look at these two. But yeah. And I think Takehiko Inoue and Fujimoto are different. Like Stephen King and Haruki Murakami, different field of genres. Yeah, maybe. Inoue and Fujimoto are in, uh, are in the same tier as artists, but in terms of storytelling, Fujimoto is like three tiers above Inoue. Yeah, I, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello. Fujimoto is one of the best when it comes to making faces. Uh, it's not as simple as different hairs and such. She can really make the characters look very different. Fujimoto is freedom, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> We're sixth graders now, you know? Uh-huh. We'll be middle schoolers next year. Are you gonna draw in middle school too? Huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you know what? Yoshi and Mihorin haven't been able to tell you this either, but aren't you getting too old for drawing? What the fuck does that mean? You never play with us anymore. That's sad. When we're together, you don't even talk. All you do is draw. Not to mention, if you draw in middle school, people will think you're a creepy otaku, you know? What the fuck? What the fuck kind of prejudice is that? That is silly. That is really silly. But it is sad that she's sacrificing her entire youth for her skills. She should go play with kids too. Why aren't her parents telling her <laughs> to stop drawing <laughs> and go out and play with kids. I don't know. You need to have a healthy balance in your life. Of honing your skills and letting loose. So, especially as a kid, I think that is super important. I mean, it's nice that she got inspired by this other classmate. 
But if she's just forcing herself, stressing herself out, losing friends over it, and um, having existential nightmares because of that, is um, that, that's not worth it. In fact, a great number of mangaka openly praised our uh, beloved Fujimoto for this one shot, like authors of Pum Pum, Eizouken, Black Lagoon, Dudadada, and many more. Yay! It's refreshing to hear Fujimoto get so much praise. I've heard various opinions, but I agree with your take on Inoue and Fujimoto. Uh, I'm glad we agree. Still continuing to draw. Her posture is probably suffering from that. And uh, there is her mom, probably getting a little worried about her. <clears throat> oh, it's not her mom. Is it a sister? Mom says to hurry up and take your bath. Not before you come in, uh, in my room, sis. Come on. Sheesh, okay, okay. Yeah, we don't have privacy like that either in, in my family. Hey, how long are you going to keep drawing manga? You should come to my karate class. Uh, you could put it on your transcript. Woohoo. Damn. Mom and Dad, don't say it, but they're worried about you. You're always holed up in your room, and your test scores are abysmal. Yeah, that's not good. Get out of my room. Poor child. I'm gonna lie, I had the same problem as a kid. Isolation in childhood for art's sake. And you're right, that easily ends up fucking up your social skills hard. Yeah, that's not good. You need to have a healthy balance of everything. Like, the, the downtime that you actually need um, to mentally recover from everything um, you're doing, um, it's also a source of inspiration that you can use for your stories. Like, the more you go out into the world, look at the world, interact with the world and um, spend time with people, the more inspiration you can draw from it and use in your own stories as an artist. Like, if even if you're just drawing, like just um, painting or drawing or whatever, um, there, there's a story behind a painting too. You can use that too. Like, uh, everything in the world is potential inspiration for your own creations. So, um, go out. It's, it's important. You can't just take inspiration from other manga, please don't. Um, or, I don't know, other visual media. You, can, you, have to, you have to be present in this world, too. And suck up what the world is giving you in person. In order to be able to create something organic, you know. Something that isn't just inspired by other great works, but that comes from within you, from your own experience with the world. Something that others can relate to, something that's really just speaking out from within you. And in order to have that, you need to gather experience and, and I don't know, fall in love, be hurt by love, and so on and so forth. Lose your pet dog, um, have a fight with your friends. Um, Go get lost in the woods and cry and then be picked up by the police or something. You need to have s some form of experience with the world in order to create a world that can resonate with the world. You, you know what I mean? So um, it's, it's not just good for your own mental health and social um, um, aptitude and so on, but it's, it's, it's good for you. For your heart and your mind and um, for your stories, for your creations. Um, the last one was kind of specific. It, 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 it just came up in my mind. I, I wasn't going through that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's good to be inspired on what you love and spend a lot of time with it. But taking a break is very important too. Yeah. This is how you decided to incorporate cannibalism in your story? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> let's go, let's go and move on. Almost all of my stories have some form of cannibalism in them. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I uh, just want to say I recently found your channel from your Chainsaw Man readings. Really love hearing your opinions and thoughts when reading manga. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'm glad that you can enjoy what I what I put out, like when I react to other people's creations. <sighs> Look at her. All right, quiet down. I'm passing out the school paper. Don't forget to show your parents. Ah, Kyomoto Summer Festival. God damn. You know, sometimes people are just talented. And your hard work sometimes can't even touch that talent, but it can come close and it can overtake them. You just keep doing it. You know, for a lack of talent, you gotta compensate with hard work. And uh, just having innate talent won't get you anywhere unless you work hard on it too, so... Classroom dad. Oops, sensei, I need to use the bathroom. Ah, he called the teacher his dad. Ha ah, ha ha, teacher. Ha ha ha. I confirmed it. He touches his hair when he's nervous. Sensei, you're my real dad after all, aren't you? <laughs> Honestly, the sense of humor, she has it. Like, this is just scenic depictions of everyday life that Kyomoto is bringing you. And uh, this is a story <laughs> and humor. Uh, but yeah, um, working hard uh, to hone your talents, uh, to bring out your talents or to give birth to your talents um is all you gotta do you, there's no point in comparing your um hard work to others just innate talent that's already there and ab above your level like everyone has some base level of talent whether it be in singing dancing whatever whatever art you pick uh and then you gotta nurture it in a specific way and some are on a higher level, like bored, already on a higher level. And they don't need to practice anymore to be on the same level as you when you work hard, like for, let's say, five years. But if they, if they want to improve, they got to work hard too. And you got to put in even more effort to reach their level. So uh, there's no reason she should um, be disappointed when seeing that. I already see a difference between what she started with and where she has come. Like where she has arrived now after these two years. And she's telling a story, as I said. She's telling a story with her four uh, panel comic strips. Whereas uh, these are just, um, yeah, scenic depictions of everyday life. Um, pain is often an artist's muse and they often choose isolation. Idolizing the simplicity of an action. It's hard, yeah. It's not talent, it's love. It took me seven years to realize that, yeah. I've been asking that question since I was young. Pursue your passion with love and you'll never get exhausted by it. Like Quentin Tarantino, Kim Chung ki and... Who the fuck? I see and think uh, of other people. Neil Gaiman. Um, I can't think of other... Ah! I can't think of other people, huh? Neil Gaiman. Okay, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, but you can um, be tormented by your love, too, and just fucking drop it. Um, but yeah, as long as you nurture your love for... See, this is what I mean. Um, there's something... When you're born into this world, there is always something that you fall in love with. For some, it's art. Or manga or whatever and for some it's dance basketball whatever you pick take that love that you have for the world your connection to the world like because if you if you don't fall in love with anything in the world then what's the point in living right um 
take that which you have love for, the love for life, and nurture it because you need it. It's your sustenance. It's your soul's sustenance. You need to nurture your soul with this type of love. And uh, you can grow with it by uh, giving it attention and, and uh, paying attention to this uh, aptitude that you're, like these qualities that you're nurturing in order to be even closer to what you love. These steps that you're taking towards what you love to be even closer to it. Uh, so yeah, I see that um, like you too. It's passion or talent or whatever, but you need passion in order for your talent to thrive. And this talent, you can call it talent, or you can call it a form of love for life. I call it the form of love for life. So yeah. Uh, we're all drunk on something. Kenny Ackerman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that speech by Kenny Ackerman, to be honest, because he's right. We're all not just uh, drunk on something, but also slaves to something. We're a slave to this love that you harbor for the world in the form of, I don't know, artistic um, participation. And yeah, sometimes it's not a, a pretty thing, you know, to be that slave. Sometimes you suffer from it. But most of all, it, it, it gives you a reason to move on and to enjoy your life. Uh, I read somewhere that the world crushes your soul and art reminds you that you have one. And this reminder is what makes living worthwhile. This love for something that you harbor, your connection to the world. Uh, yes, that, that's what I mean. The chapter uh, where that line came from is Isayama's favorite. He says he captures the entire essence of his world and its philosophy through it. Yeah, it's, um, I, I agree. It's, it's a very good chapter or scene or whatever. Um, depends on how you consumed it. Anyway, let's continue reading. She's still not satisfied. I give up, she said. Oh no. Oh no. Is that a tear? Oh no. I give up. She can't help comparing herself to someone else. You know, the nature of what they're doing is completely different. It was like comparing, you know, Inoue and Fujimoto. You know, Fujimoto could draw with this type of style too, if he wanted to. But this is Inoue just drawing scenes, basically, and joining them together with speech bubbles, like forcing his art into the medium of manga. Whereas uh, Fujimoto is just making full use of the medium of manga. So, um... There you have that comparison again. <laughs> but you know, can you pass those back? Hey, want to go for ice cream after school today? Really? Awesome! Yeah, we haven't hung out with you in forever. Nice, she's now hanging out with friends again. Ah... Uh, ah, oh, she's going to karate! Look, with her sister. Cute. She's living again. Now she's living again. Ah, uh, look, spending time with her parents again. <laughs> Mom, throw these out too. Okay, so is she really giving up? I kind of don't believe it because once you have found that connection to the world, something that you want to nurture, you can't give up. I don't think you can give up. It's going to torture you, like it's going to be in the back of your mind and it's going to make, even when you enjoy your life with your friends, with your family, it's going to make it harder because your heart is calling out 
to do something else too. That's why I say you need to have a balance, a healthy relationship to everyday life, people, the world, and to, to this passion that you have. It's graduation. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Congrats. Comparing yourself to others is a bad practice when you're becoming an artist. You should just accept what you make and use other artists um, as like an inspiration instead of comparison. Yes, Demon Slayer is carried by animation. Okay. I don't know how we got there, but yeah. Hey, Fujino. Congrats. So sorry to drop this on you. Could you deliver Kyomoto's graduation certificate for me? Why her? I'll give you the address. What? No fair. Why do I have to? Well, you know, even if you quit during sixth grade, you were in the school newspaper together with those manga strips. I'm sure Kyomoto would rather get this from you than some middle-aged man like me. Yeah, uh, I'd honestly rather not. Come on, be a sport and do your teacher one last favor. Seriously? Nobody home? Ah, it's not locked. Excuse me, I'm here to deliver your graduation certificate. I'll leave it by your front door. Clutter. Someone is home. Hello? I brought your graduation certificate. Holy shit. Holy shit. But look. This person is all alone in their room. This person is not living. This person is just drawing. Let's see. Don't come out. Come out, come out. It's the Shonen World Championship Finals. Kyomoto is in first place by a wide lead. Kyomoto. Yeah, that's how I see it too. That's how I see it. <laughs> we could be wrong, but that's the impression that I get when I see so many sketchbooks. What am I even doing? Ah! Oh no. Uh. Oh! Uh, what? I'll just leave a certificate here and bye! Oh, girl! Wait. Who? <laughs> Se? Fujino sensei! Oh, She or he... They called her Fujino sensei! See? Like, she feels inferior to you, but you look up to her. That's because you recognize that there is... something that she has that you don't have. And you have something that she doesn't have, yet. You can both learn from each other, motivate each other, bring out the best in each other. Kimoto is a she. Ah, look. Kyo Kyomoto. Ah. <laughs> uh. T t m m um, I got um the newspaper. I got it every week. I read them from the start, since third grade. You're a m manga. I... I'm... I... I'm... You, I... I'm... Uh, I'm actually a fan of yours. Can I get your autograph? Ah, paper. I don't have any paper. Uh, my back. Please sign my back.
if you want. Ah, these two. <laughs> they could be friends. Come on. My favorites were um love quadrangle from the second week of August in third grade and the the Sasaki series that ran from January to March of the fourth grade and starting in fifth grade and sixth grade all your work was just so good it was like godlike I um couldn't always finish my strips in time but you ran yours every single week while going to school too it was so amazing I was like, is she really in the same grade as me? I hope she doesn't feel like she's being made fun of. You can see that this is really respect she holds for Fujino. And this is kind of, it can reflect, um, you know, the manga release schedules because there are some mangaka out there that release like on time every chapter they don't miss a single uh week or month or whatever um of their release of their manga and then there are some manga artists who are just so caught up in their art uh that they just don't um, release on time like what they produce in the end yeah it's beautiful to look at but um but that is it you know the Sasaki series is a reference to a one-shot Fujimoto published in 2013, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna look into all of that once I read um, the interviews. Then, in fifth grade, when both your art and stories started rapidly improving, I was sure of it. Fujino-sensei, you're a manga genius! So why? Why did you stop drawing your strips in sixth grade? Actually, yeah, um, actually I'm coming up with a story to submit for a manga award right now. So basically I quit that so I could take it up a notch. She's lying, oh no. <laughs> a manga award? Uh, amazing! Oh no. Look at how close she's getting. I want to see it. I totally want to see it. That's so amazing. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. I mean, I mean, like, it's still only in my head. It's already finished inside my head. So basically, all that's left is the actual penciling and inking. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. I want to. Cute. Then, yeah, I guess I can show you when it's done. They're all gonna become friends! Good! I love this! Yes! Friends! I love this! Ah! Look! This is so cute! It started raining. I gotta go. Later. Cute! So cute! Look at this. Adorable. Oh, she's dancing in the rain. What the fuck? Oh. Oh! Oh, I love this. Look at it. There's so much behind this. So much behind this. I love that we're not told to our face what is going on in her head. You just watch and you think. It's like with normal human interactions. Sometimes you gotta read between the lines. Sometimes you gotta look out for body language, for some subliminal cues or whatever. And here it's the same. There's so much happening. You have the regret of stopping to draw. You have the... Feeling inferior, but also feeling empowered, but also having like an accomplice in your future goals. Finally having a reason to go back to what you always wanted to do anyway. So much going on. 
Like, there's so much happiness and also kind of despair, too. But especially happiness. Look how she walks with her head down, then really robotically, and then she starts dancing. She's finally freeing herself from her own shackles. I studied a lot of Tatsuki Fujimoto recently. Fujimoto is so good at expressing emotions without the need of text bubbles. Exactly. The countryside panels in the manga and this sequence are based on Fujimoto's hometown, Akita. Oh. I had no idea. Thank you for telling me. I love this. It was probably a double page spread. Look at this. It's beautiful. Back home. Not even taking off her clothes, taking a bath. Just immediately going on to draw. Her drive is back. She found her motivation again. And she wants to impress someone. Who she is impressed by. This is so cute. And look, all her books are gone. All her books on art are somewhere else, but not in this shelf anymore. Look, she did not fucking care. Her, her diploma is on the floor. Just immediately on to drawing again. It just hit me that I had the exact same things happen. Like, 17, uh, like a 17-year-old Spanish artist was literally my favorite artist ever, and she started telling me about what she envied in my art. I fucking cried. I can imagine. I can't imagine. And she's back to drawing. In middle school, she's back to drawing. So. That feeling when you find inspiration to do something. Such an amazing feeling. Not just inspiration, but also motivation. Hi there. Hope you had a great Easter. Hello, thank you, and hope you had a great Easter, too. And she's again back to being a loner. But sometimes, you know... Sometimes that's okay. If your true calling is forcing you to um, spend some time on that, then that is it. Probably being ostracized, isolated because they think she's an otaku and creepy. That's so mean though, like why? I'm home. Welcome back. Oh, cute, cute, cute. They're staying at each other's house. Oh, why is she still not going to school? Welcome back. You're still here? Wait, you finished those backgrounds? Uh-huh. Since I'm not going to school, it's a piece of cake. It feels like we'll never finish all 45 pages, though. They're working on that together. It's not just her working on it to impress her, they're working on it together. It's... Yes. So good. Uh-huh. Since I'm not going to school, it's a piece of cake. It feels like we'll never finish all 45 pages, though. I know, right? Even though we're drawing non-stop. Cute. Goddamn. It's a team effort. Adorable. Look at them. And now it's May. Oh man. But this is this is nice. See? She has a friend. She has a friend that she shares values and passion with. She's not lonely. They're both inspiring and motivating each other. They're friends. They're sharing human emotions and experiences. Uh, that is fantastic. As long as you have one other person that understands you in this entire world. As long as you have one friend. You're saved. Like, you're saved from loneliness and from isolation. 
then what you do has meaning because it is witnessed by someone else and it is appreciated by someone else. Your existence is noticed and appreciated. And that is enough. So it doesn't matter that she's maybe not fitting quite in into her class. She has someone at home who's there with her on her path throughout this earth, uh, throughout life. Um, they're what you call true nakama. <laughs> no, but for real. This is... This is cute. This is healthy. This is nice. This reminds me of Miura's last tribute manga. Stop talking about Miura. Look at the... Um, damn. Even in school, like, her grades are suffering, but she's... She has a goal. Oh my god. Look at this. They're even going shopping together for books and references. Their free time is not spent in vain. They're not hitting each other, uh, themselves against each other. Uh, they're working together. It's, it's a healthy relationship. I love it. Suesha. You drew this while in middle school? Incredible. I'm really impressed. Yeah, but it took the two of us an entire year to finish. And she did all the backgrounds. No, no. Being able to finish a manga at all as middle schoolers is quite a feat. The art and story are both high level too. This could win an honorable mention at the very least. Look at them! <laughs> I love this! They're such, such a good pair. Ah, uh, I love these friends. Cute. I still wonder why uh, Kyomoto is not going. Fuji Moto. Kyono. Is there a Kyono person out there? What? Fujimoto and Kyono. That. Fujino and Kyomoto. <laughs> it's um yeah, you can see that um they're bo both born from Fujimoto's own experience. Uh <sighs> This is so nice to look at. They're buying the magazine. Gotta look for a mangaka called Kyono now. Or maybe an assistant or something, or maybe... I, I just said the Fuji from Fujino and the Moto from Kyomoto, Fuji, Moto. Maybe the rest, like the other syllables are just added there for... I don't know. Uh, completion, for the completion of the names. Uh, but maybe it's just him split into two people I, I who who knows who knows but uh i like this like you can see where this is like where the inspiration comes from it's from himself too like he um referenced himself in the story jump they're buying the magazine to see the fruits of their labor and because they live in the countryside they gotta go far to reach a convenience store with the magazine Look, like there isn't even a path. Oh, I actually made it to a stream for once. Yeah. Nice to see you. Contest results. An improbable 13 year old duo takes runner up plus free honorable mentions. Oh my god, they won a million yen. Oh man, oh my god, that's, that's like oh, 8,000 euros. A metal parade. Kyo Fujino. Cute. Damn, a million yen. It's like 10 euros. <laughs> no, stop. We'll never finish 45 pages. This is some meta when you're on some European stream. Stop it. Look at them! They're so happy! Middle school duo from Yamagata. 
Look at them! Yeah! I'm so proud of them! Yes, girls! You go! Ta-da! I opened a bank account with my mom! Me too! And, and, wait for it! Ta-da! I withdrew a hundred thousand yen! Why? What? You could buy a house with that. No, you you can't. <laughs> want to? Oh, they want to live together. Cute. Come on, let's go out on uh, on the town. <laughs> My treat. D don't you need to save that? Whatever. We're gonna draw more manga and rake in the cash anyway. Let's use our money to stimulate the economy. Why does she look sad here? Why does she look sad here? Okay. Stimulate the economy. Ah, uh, Cute! I love them! I love them! Crepe forest. And the cinema scene, of course. We gotta have one of those, at least once, in a Fujimoto um, creation. Ah, uh, cute. Uh, they're spending time together, living the life, and creating something they're passionate about together. This is the dream. This is the dream. Thanks for treating me today. We spent like crazy and still only used 5,000 yen. How? Oh. I'm glad I came out of my room. Huh? The truth is, I was scared to go out today. I stopped going to school because I got scared of people. Oh no, social anxiety. See, this is why I love Fujimoto. Just bringing in social topics that are actually taboo in Japan, like LGBT issues and also mental issues, um, mental health issues, putting them in the forefront. I stopped going to school because I got scared of people. But I had a really, really good time today. I only drew because I had nothing to do at home and got bored. But now I'm glad I drew. Did you know, thank you for bringing me out of my room. Oh, I love this. You can thank me with a hundred thousand yen. Huh? Adorable. Yes, they just... Keep going, keep creating, keep spending time with each other. My heart lies with the sea. Ah, oh, beautiful. Sakara humans. It's, this is a nice um, page because you see what they get inspired by. They go to the beach and then they make a story about, you know, how they love the sea. They um, drew a cicada and then they're like, okay, drawing a story about cicada monsters. Uh, and then monster does look horrifying, to be honest. So it's, it's uh, a good reference on how you use real life experiences to incorporate into your stories. Oh, is it another reference? I had no idea. Nice to know. Thank you. bagworm look they made so much they're uh, such a good duo they're soulmates they work so well together and they enjoy each other's company to spend their free time with each other they're they're soulmates i love this The world of background art. Look at this. It's beautiful. And that's China. Wow. Look at her. We're getting serialized? Oh, they're older now. 
Look at them. They look like adults. Hey. The editor in chief wants to let you give uh give it a spin after you graduate high school. Oh, okay. They're almost adults now. You've had seven one shots published by age seventeen. Okay. That's a real reference to Fujimoto. Honestly, it's almost a little late in coming. So happy. But she's not? Why? Why? No, why? Those background arts are from Fire Punch and Chainsaw Man. I had no idea. For real? Oh, this is Chainsaw Man, yeah. And yeah, I, I recognize this when we got introduced to Quang Shi. It reminded me of that before you, you go to the kiss scene and then to the the gangbang. And this is uh, where he met today's, uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, but I didn't notice, is this really from um, 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 Fire Punch? The top left is the hunt where Agni goes berserk. Oh, hut, hunt, hut, hut. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I had no idea. I it's been a while. I need to reread uh, Fire Punch. Why does she look sad and troubled? What's going on? I'm sorry. I want to go to art school, so so I can't help with the manga series. Oh no. Where is this coming from? I mean, you can go to art school and draw this manga, or not? Nah, I can't help with the manga series. Nah, that would be too much probably, huh? She wants to focus on learning and growing. Well, well, whatever. Why not? You only draw the backgrounds anyway. I can just have assistants handle that. Come on, Fujino. But, but going to art school is pointless, you know? There are zero job prospects for art degrees. Y yeah, I know. I'll have to talk to strangers a ton. I'll push myself. If you just stick with me, everything will fall into place for you. But she needs to grow out of her... Oh, come on. She needs to leave her comfort zone and grow as a person too, with or without you. I, I want to stop relying on you and try being independent. I understand that. It'll be so boring, I guarantee you. No, it won't. No, it totally will be. Not to mention, there's no way you can handle college life on your own. She's so desperate to keep her by her side because she knows she she needs her. Oh man. Wait, what the fuck? There we go. I can't... I can too. I learned to. I learned to. You can't do it. You're so shy. You can't even speak to the cashier at the convenience store. That's so mean. She's trying to push her down so she'll stay with her instead of going her own path and growing. I'll practice. There's no way you'll ever pull it off. Stop. That is so mean. Come on, Fujino. But... but what? No, Don't cry, baby. I want to become a better artist. Going the separate ways. Oh, that's a huge-ass room. Who is that now? Is it Fujino or Kyomoto? Kyo Fujino. 
Shark kick one, shark kick two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. There's just a bunch of elevens. Anime adaptation. January 10th, 2016. It's Fujino. Yamagata man wields axe at art school. At art school? No. No, no, no. I repeat, midday today at the Yamagata City, Yamagata Prefecture Art College, a man with no fixed address began attacking students with an axe-like tool. Afterward, Yamagata police took the man believed to be the culprit into custody. Detailed information on the victims and injuries is yet to come. The man is currently being held at Yamagata police station where... Please, no. <laughs> no way. No, I don't like this. No. Just a bunch of energy drinks. <sighs> Kyomoto calling. No one answering and then mom incoming call. No way. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, thank fuck. Oh, no, that looks like a flashback. Please, no. What I'm saying is, if we got our own manga series, I'd want it to have super awesome art. I'm so slow, though. I wish I could draw faster. That's a cinch. Improve your art skills and your speed inc increases with them. I already plan on boosting my skills. Oh, look. Then I'll get better at drawing too, like you. Sweet. Keep your eyes on my back and you'll grow too. It's really... She just looks up to Kyomoto so much. And she's taking advantage of the fact that Kyomoto is looking up to Fujino so much. And keeping her on a leash with her so she can so she can produce good works and keep her friend by her side and feel good about herself. <laughs> no way. No. Bitch, I don't want to cry on stream. Shut up, 12 dead, free, seriously injured. Struck the body several times, police say. Heard voices from the paintings. Put up across campus, hurling insults at me. Bitch. I'm not, I don't want to. Shark Kick hiatus announcement. Thank you for reading Shark Kick. Due to the author Kyo Fujino Sensei's sudden illness, Shark Kick will be going on hiatus for the time being. Serialization will resume upon Fujino Sensei's recovery. We apologize for any concern this causes the readers. We look forward to Shark Kick and ask for your continued support. Crazy how good Fujimoto can make us so attached to characters we just know. Yeah, we just got to know now. Yeah. Bitch. She lost her other half. She lost her only true friend. She lost her soulmate. She wanted to grow, become independent, become someone worthy of. Fujino, in her mind. And Fujino knew if she let her go, she's gonna achieve so much greatness that she, Fujino, won't be able to keep up in her mind. 
they still had the competitive drive in themselves, but also still the, the friendship. God damn it. She wanted to go to art school so she could improve and be better a uh, to be able to help Fujino. Yeah. Bro, I don't want to cry again. Come on, bitch. This is so fucking sad. No. Stop it. Stop it. Why am I crying? Stop. This is what I mean. Fujimoto is such a good visual storyteller. I hate this. I'm gonna blink the tears away. Okay, okay, some escaped. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Losing people is like my biggest fear in life, and this just shows exactly that. Yeah. I can't see shit because of the tears. Fuck me. <laughs> I hate you, Fujimoto. I hate you. Just kidding, I love you. I want to marry you. <laughs> uh. She kept this all this time. Don't come out. Come out. Kiyomoto, it's my fault. Stop. This perfectly shows her inner conflict. She wants to let... Uh, she wanted to let um, Kiyomoto come out, experience life. And be friends with her, but she also didn't want her to come out. Wanted her to... Be away from her not in her way and remind her of how inadequate in her mind she is. She wanted her to find her own path, but also wanted her to keep being by her side. Wanted her to improve on the art, but also didn't want her to improve so much she's going to be recognized for herself alone and not together with Fujino. The conflict. The conflict foreshadowed so much. With this simple comic, in these two panels, god damn it. It's my fault. Because I drew this manga that day. Kyomoto's death, huh? It's my fault? No, it's not, bitch. Shut the fuck up. If I hadn't brought her out of her room, shut up! Why the fuck? It's it's Monday. It's such a beautiful day. Uh, it's Easter Monday. Why the fuck am I crying alone in my room? I hate this, bro. Not what I wanted today. But ma, fuck me. I need to no. Hold on. I hate this. She wouldn't have died. Wait, huh? Why? Why did I draw that? <sighs> Drawing is completely useless. Come on. Come out. Now we're gonna take a look at her room. 
But look at all the manga. Ah, it says don't come out. Bro, is this time travel? Don't come out. Don't come out? Huh? Excuse me. I'm here to deliver your graduation certificate. Oh no, the what could have been? The what could have been? Alternate universe. Born out of desperation. And mourning. I'm here to deliver your graduation certificate. Social anxiety. Again. I'll leave it by a front door. A ghost. So it still would have happened, huh? Wait. We are pleased to inform you. Oh, yeah. yeah. January 10th, 2016. A student sat down on a sofa on the second floor of the building a western style painting program for a break western style painting <sighs> the student heard a metallic knocking sound from the stairs at this time there were no other students near the sofa A man entered the building from the outer stairs and approached a resting student. I love all the little ref references in this one shot to his previous works. Yeah. Don't open the door. Hmm. Door from Chainsaw Man. But yeah. Have you read Fire Punch? Yes, I have. The man was holding a pointed tool he'd found in the art practice building. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Aren't you? Huh? Me? It's you, isn't it? Do you think I'm an idiot? Do ya? You just won't shut up, will you? According to his statement, he was hearing voices insulting him from a paranoid episode. During a paranoid episode. Uh, um, huh? What? Shut up! Ah! Mm, come on! Damn it! Listen to me! They're wrong! It's mine, isn't it? It was my idea first. You plagiarized my art, didn't you? Admit it! It was you, wasn't it? Hiya! This is like a Quentin Tarantino. Uh, what if I had actually been there and saved the day and made this and that person survive and another person pay for their sins? Poor Fujino, the things she's imagining right now. Just because she... She feels guilty about her friend's death. They didn't want to stigmatize mental health issues. 
Did they change that? Yeah, it's a... I understand why they wanted to change that, because... Mental health issues are already stigmatized enough in Japan. And now, by uh, making a mass murderer a schizophrenic, you're just turning schizophrenics into mass murderers, basically, with this message. So I understand why they wanted to change that. Uh, but it said here, didn't hurt the story at all. Yeah. Hearing voices insulting him during a paranoid episode. But it's still there. It's still here. I mean, uh, I know it's got changed um, for the Tankobon. So it's probably going to be different in the Tankobon. We're going to see when it uh, gets released in September. Yeah, no, you're reading the unchanged version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be the different version in uh, the Tankobon. And we're reading now the the one that got pulled from uh, the Manga Plus website. Maybe you're reading the previous version. Yes, yeah, yeah. it was even patched on the homepage. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oof. Huh? So I do karate at the dojo in the next town over, right? And while I was on my run, I saw the dude with a weapon entering the school, right? So I was like, oh crap, and ran after him, and when I karate kicked the guy... I fell and wound up breaking my own leg, too. So lame, right? Ex excuse me, thank you for what you did. Um, I want to express my thanks again, so, um, can I get your phone number? Yeah, sure thing. Fujino. Fujino. Fujino sensei. Are you Fujino sensei? Sensei? Did you draw a manga for the grade school newspaper? Oh, now that you mention it, I did do that. I knew it. Um... I was a fan of your manga. Ah ha ha, talk about a crazy coincidence. Thanks. Sorry, it's time to go. Um, why did you stop drawing manga? And now the truth. Now we're gonna hear the truth. Actually, oh, maybe not. Actually, I recently picked it up again. Be my assistant when I get serialized. <sighs> Ugino and her... Poor Quentin Tarantino fantasy. I'm home. Kiss me again when we are reborn, I promise. This is again foreshadowing. Ah. Oh my god. Or maybe not. This is two dimensions kissing each other again. And then something spilling out into the other. And from the other spilling out into this one. I'll kill you. Yeah. Ugh. Are you Fujino Sensei? You aren't hurt. Then my work here is done. You already have the physical edition of Look Back in France. I fucking hate France, dude. I've been talking to Epi about it um, in Discord, in our Discord server. How France as the fastest releases, how they are so on point with the translations. They're so, like, giving so much attention uh, to manga and anime in general. Like, they're the quickest one to pick up anything since the 1970s. 
I'm so mad the English volume is coming out in October. I want it now. Yeah, true with the West. France even had JoJo since the early 1000s. I mean, you, you mean 2000s? Yeah. I'll never forgive the French. Yeah. And we also had a Fujimoto exposition. What the fuck? I hate France. <laughs> God damn it. This is, okay, so this is, you're so lucky. Yeah, you are. France gets everything manga related first. Yes. It's, it's insane. Yeah, the Fujimoto exhibition looked so good. Fucking hell. I got looked back for 120? What? How? Bitch, how? What? They had a special Kishibe Rohan volume at the Louvre, even. I asked my ex to bring it back with her when she went to Paris. She didn't. Well, now I know why she's an ex. <laughs> Damn, I'm late. Are you gonna continue with Goodbye 80 right away? I knew I, uh, I won't piss myself on stream. You got it for two- What the fuck is wrong with France? How can you get this one? It's gonna cost like 10 euros here in Austria when it comes out in September. A promotion at the local bookstore. And you got it for like 120 or 2 euros? What the fuck? Ah, Too much heartbreak for one sitting. Goodbye, Eddie is 200 pages long. Nah, too, goodbye, Eddie is next time, next Monday. Ah, oh, god damn it. So this is basically two parallel universes kind of colliding, just like with the comic strip and the, the kiss of these two planets meeting and kissing each other be when they're reborn basically when they're somewhere else someone else <sighs> then my work here is done getting inside the room oh my god shark kick she bought so many of them to support her. And the Rita survey, she even participated. Aside from me, a love hate with the director. Have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I have. Uh, the only uh, Quentin Tarantino movie that I enjoyed, just for enjoyment's sake, not because I think it's uh, good. Like, okay, yeah, I mean. One aspect is really good, and you know who it is, uh, is um, Inglorious Bastards. And the good aspect that I'm talking about is um, Hans Landa. Uh, the other movies, I, don't, I really don't... It, it's just really... Uh, what if things had gone differently, and like a version of myself was there, and kicked ass, and prevented tragedies... And made everything go and be a lot better. That, that's the feeling that I get. So I don't really vibe with Quentin Tarantino movies. Again, just one movie that I enjoyed because of Hans Landa, that character, Inglorious Bastards. Um, and I did watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I, it's, it's a typical uh, Tarantino movie. Did you see the name? Of the manga strip Kyomoto made. Look back. I forgot to see that. Look back by Kyomoto. Oh yeah, look back. Oh my god, that's why. Ah. Uh. In participated in the Rita survey. Shark kick. Looking back. Ayumu Fujino. She kept it all this time. You know, to begin with, I don't even like drawing manga. It's not fun. The entire process is a hassle. It's super unglamorous, too. You can draw all day long and still be nowhere near finished. Really, I... I'd be better off just sticking to reading manga. 
I shouldn't draw it. Then why do you draw Fujino? Because of her. Because her face lights up every time she reads something by Fujino. I'm gonna fucking cry again. She did it because she saw what an effect she had on another person. A person that she admired. And that she was close and intimate with. I'm- Ah, I fucking hate this. It's her friend that kept her going. It's the reaction to what she does that kept her going. It's the appreciation. As I said, you just need one friend who can appreciate what you do and your entire existence and you're saved. Because they shared their time together, they did it together. She saw a point in what she did. That's why she did it. Why do you draw Fujino? I'm crying, it's too early for this. Stop. Oh, fuck me. That's so much fun. Fuck me. Look at them. Soulmates. Friends. Ah. Bitch. Stop crying. I love Fujimoto. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. This is beautiful. As I said, visual storytelling is amazing in Fujimoto's works. Why I love Fujimoto is that no matter how crude, brutal the material is, the work uh, seeps with emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. And she got a better cheer. Wonderful. That was... I want to have it in my shelf. Beautiful. Speaking of Tarantino, check out that copy of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood just casually lying there. Wait, what? Really? Where? Nangu? Is it this one? Is it this one? Look back always reminds me of the time my friend died. I was lost and aimless for the longest time too after that. Understandable. Sorry about that. Thought about this one shot for a long time after I first read it, yeah. Can I just say... Fujimoto and I are, are connected too, see? I saw that one... scene... Where with the alternate storyline where um, Kiyomoto was rescued by Fujino, and I immediately thought of Quentin Tarantino. And what do we see? A reference to Quentin Tarantino in this panel here. Can, can I just say that Fujimoto and I are connected? Like, I see through everything he does, I see where it comes from, I see the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice the text in the first and last panels? The text in the first and last? No. They're publishing physical copies. 
They're getting released in September, I believe. Yeah, Fujimoto is a genius, that's all. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Don't know if I remembered correctly, but the first page has Don't written on a blackboard, and the last page has In Anger. Wait, what? Soulmates. <laughs> but where? I mean, yeah, but you also have this here uh, in anger don't and in anger i don't know and the once upon a time in hollywood okay uh see fujimoto and i i, I just i know fujimoto even though i don't know him in person <laughs> and he doesn't know me but but we know each other <laughs> Uh, because it was released at its anniversary. It's basically saying, don't look back in anger. Oh. Now let me go to the first page again. Look back. Aha, uh, don't. And then look back in anger. I mean, it's a good message, yeah. Remind uh, that this was released on July 19th in Japan, with July 18th being the anniversary of the Kyoani arson attack, which is probably also why Fujino, Kyomoto, Fujimoto, it's the same kanji. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. Uh, uh, a Kyoto animation arson attack. Yeah, that's probably why they also had to change things up a bit with the um, attack uh, on the art school. But this was a beautiful one shot. Beautiful. It, it was sad and deep and complex and empowering too, inspiring. It's all together. Like, I love that there is no one mood that you get from Fujimoto's works. It's not just a sad work or uh, just uh, one message. It's not just black and white. It's all of it at once. So many messages all at once and all of them are valid. And all of them feel so raw and real. Um... Yeah, I, I just think that Fujimoto's works are so natural and organic. Can't wait for next Monday. Yeah, for the goodbye, 80. The change is actually for a different reason. I will post all of that in comments later. I was writing it through the stream. I mean, there's probably a, a lot of reasons. For example, the stigmatization of mental health reasons. Then... uh the Kyoto animation resemblance, uh, like the, this incident, uh, that resemblance. Uh, if there's more reasons, then yeah, post them in um, in the Discord server. I love the reception it got. It was really impactful for other mangaka, especially. I remember big names praising this one shot on Twitter when it came out because it's true. Like, there's so many other things you probably want to do as a mangaka. You're probably cursing every minute of your life. But also you can't imagine doing anything else. Because when you see what an impact you have on other people, that keeps you going. And that's the reward. That is why you do it. Because you got inspired at some point by someone else. Maybe also another mangaka. You got so inspired that you wanted to pursue this career. And now you're the one inspiring other people. This is what reminds you that you're not just chasing after someone anymore. You're also being someone else's dream. So uh, it's, it's a universal message. Everyone, I think, has that desire not just to be inspired, but to also inspire, to have an impact on someone's life. And even if it's just one person. And for that person, you're going to continue doing it, even if the person is dead. Don't Look Back in Anger is a reference to the song by Oasis. Okay, I have no idea 
nice uh, fun facts. Thank you. Just looked up on the Kiwani case. The guy burned the building because he felt the studio had stolen one of his ideas. So that probably inspired the guy with the pickaxe attack in the story. Yeah. Probably not a good idea to do that. Uh, probably why they changed it up. If you want to read a short one-shot, look at Love is Blind. It's one of my favorite Fujimoto works. Uh, has this volume with his one-shot compilations, has it been published? In English or German? Uh, I just want to know. Oh, have you read this one-shot called Nayota of the Prophecy? Why don't you call it just a, a prophetic Nayota? Because it was called Yugen no Nayota, right? When you have a noun and then no and then a name, you can just use it as an adjective. Prophetic Nayuta. <laughs> Nayuta of the prophecy sounds so weird. Uh, could be interesting, especially if you finish Chainsaw Man. If there is an official translation, I will read the volume with all the one-shots. Uh, of which Nayuta is, is part of. But uh, if there isn't, then I'm just going to read it in my free time. The end also feels like a reference to the first one shot in this work, Kiss Me When You're Reborn. That's what I said. That's what I said. I think it's been published in Japanese. It's in the 17 to 21 volume. Wait, what the fuck? It's, it's in the 17 to 21 volume. What the fuck does that mean? What's 22 to 26 then? What? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. There are two physical books, which is a compilation of Fujimoto's one-shots. They've been compiled together, but they haven't been officially translated yet. What does that mean, 17 to 21 and 22 to 26? What the fuck does that mean? From ages 17 to 21, just say that. Aha, uh -huh, okay, no, they're called that. The one-shots have been compiled in two volumes called 17 to 21, 22 to 26, which references the age Fujimoto published them at. Okay, okay. See, I... I even without reading ahead, I know what, what it is all about. <laughs> okay, but I was c recommending it for you to read in your free time. Okay, yeah, I'll, re I'll read it in my free time. Because uh, if they haven't been uh, officially released here yet, then I can't read them on stream. I'll read them in my free time. But um, yeah, beautiful. This was a beautiful read. It was fantastic. Good. Yeah. Uh, 22 to 26 came out in France too. I fucking hate France, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> you privileged little bastards. Uh, I want to be French now. <laughs> First and last time I'll ever say that. <laughs> Did you part nine out in France? <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, this is it for today. Thank you for crying with me. Um, it was beautiful, and next time we're gonna read um, Goodbye, Eddie. You stop fucking asking me. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Chainsaw Man anime is probably already out in France. <laughs> Okay, now, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, Fujimoto was even interviewed in France. I'm gonna go insane. I hate this relationship France and Japan are enjoying. Why can't we have that? <laughs> Chainsaw Man parts free in France. <laughs> Fire Punch Anime airing in France next week. <laughs> This is a great stream. It was fun reading along. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, thank you for keeping me company and making me feel less lonely and sad. Although I was very sad, but at least I was less lonely. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, more manga reading streams from monday to thursday check out all my other streams and come back for more fujimoto material and possible just manga reviews manga analysis uploaded as videos 
on my channel too. Subscribe if you wanna. I uh, invite you to <laughs> and come back, okay? <laughs> Make me feel less lonely. I, I didn't realize, but this entire time, the manga was out of the frame uh, in the video. It was out of the frame. It should have been like this. But it was out of frame the entire time. And no one told me. From now on, Epi, if you see that, tell me. Tell me that in on time when you see that happening. And you too, Akaketsugami. I didn't realize it either. Okay. So anyway, hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a nice day, evening, or night, wherever you are. Um, bye bye.